Let's talk about the rappers for a minute. Can we talk about the rappers for a moment? Let's talk about Tupac Shakur for a moment. Tupac Shakur is a child of the 60s. Tupac Shakur, born out of the spirit of the revolution of the 60s. Tupac Shakur, fire in his bones. Huh? Boldness and rebellion in his blood. From his beautiful, bold Black Panther mama, Afeni, sitting in the jail cell, a revolutionary woman carrying the fruit of life, mocking the child in her womb, mocking the child with rebellion, mocking the child with insurrection, mocking the child with a spirit. To not go along with what's been going on. <laughs> so beat me, young G, with a gift to get. Outlaws, outlaws, outlaws. outlaws. Same fatal. Same fatal. Now, Fatal, I want to ask you, how did you become a member of the Outlaws? Well, Gaddafi, we all know, was related to Tupac. And where I'm from, you know, in my hood, I took care of Gaddafi for a long time before I, I even knew he was with Tupac and all that silly shit. But, um, you know, he, he, he introduced, well, he ain't introduced me. One day he said the nigga Pac wanted to meet me and shit. Well, his mother told me that and, and he took my ass up to the jail where Pac was at. And then nigga Pac was like, yeah, when I get out of here, I'm putting a group together, blah, 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 blah. And, and when he got out, he did just that. And here we are. Wow. Um, do you remember what it was like meeting the legendary Tupac Shakur for the first time? Can you go down memory lane? Like, what was it like? Because I would have been nervous as hell. I mean... <laughs> I wasn't nervous at all because we went to a jail to see him. And back then, the, a jail was my comfort zone. So when I went and seen him, it was like he was in his jail shit. And, you know, we were sitting across from him. And it was just like, damn, this nigga's in jail and shit. You know, he was just basically making promises. So it was like, you know, some regular shit. Plus, his brother was so cool to me, it already felt like I knew the guy. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Miss Diamond Tracks, you had a question? Yes. Um, you know, um, before um, getting, you know, into the Outlaws, had yeah. you had a career in rap or no? Definitely not. I was, I was, I was some, I was a street guy and I wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about rapping and shit. It was like, you know, um, even when I got with Pop, when we went over there, it was like, we already had some shit going on in Jersey, me and Gaddafi, like, we already had the hood, so rapping, we wasn't thinking about that shit. Every time we went to Cali, we was trying to get the fuck back, basically, because we was doing shit, but that shit just took off and became something else. So to answer your question, definitely not. <laughs> okay. Grandma Puddin? Um, yes, uh, Beta. Um, yeah. Who or uh, what inspired you? to become a rapper or to go ahead and move forward with the outlaws. Well, shit, uh, well, artists like KRS-One and shit, you know, uh, Cool G Rap, Rock Kim, I wasn't really, you know, into no Jersey rap niggas and shit like that. I had a chance. I, I knew a bunch of Jersey rappers, but none of them motherfuckers even thought about, you know, you know, putting, putting, you know, and basically didn't even know my name. They might have knew me from some street shit. I was beefing with a bunch of Jersey rappers. So by me getting with Tupac, that shit was like a, a, even a slap in their face, most of them. So, mm. you know, what inspired me was, you know, KRS One and all the old heads I used to listen to. Okay. Well, we do have some callers who have some questions for you. Um, I, yeah. I, 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 mean, I would like oh, to shit. ask another question, Fatal, as well. 
Um, Fatal, let me ask you. With Ed yeah. I mean and um, Young Noble, Gaddafi, what was it like being on tour with them? Who was like the craziest personality on tour? Shit, probably Tupac. Oh, out of the Outlaws? Shit, yeah, out of the Napoleon. Outlaws. Probably Napoleon. Napoleon was the wildest as far as, you know, you know, Napoleon was a hothead before he made his uh, change over and shit. But we really ain't go on tour back then. Back then, we probably did about five shows, I can remember. It wasn't no tour mm-hmm. shit. We was just all in Cali fucking around. We didn't even get a chance. That shit was so short-lived. We didn't even get a chance to do shit. Oh, okay, okay. I see you keep yourself in shape. How important is fitness to you? Well, I, the first, well, you know, after Gaddafi died, I really wasn't thinking. I really wasn't thinking straight. I was a little, you know, I was doing all kinds of motherfucking drugs, you know, as far as, you know, pills and shit, down and all that shit. I, I really was trying to die and shit. Man, you know, I had kids and all that as I grew older. I, I woke up and I wasn't fucking dead. And I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, man, this, I'm too grown to be looking like a fucking little ass kid. So I just felt like I got to do something different with myself. And I just started, you know, getting in shape. I didn't start like, yeah, I'm going to get in shape. I just started doing push-ups and shit. And once I seen results, it was like, wow, I moved out of Jersey. And uh, once I started working out, I started thinking different. Like, I started making better decisions about, you know, just life, period. And so, you know, I just kept on with this shit. Now, it's like some shit that I have to do. Plus, I want to live long. Right. I want to see my kids' kids. I don't want to be all out here with high cholesterol and all that shit. And that's, that's, a, that's a great thing. I want to ask you this one question before... We go into our callers. Um, I want to know, Fatal, what was you doing and where were you when you received the news that Tupac had been murdered? I was in North New Jersey. I know exactly where I was. I was in North New Jersey on 16th Avenue about to make a right on Fairmont to go get some fucking weed. And I was in the car with a couple of goons, and they said Pac got shot. You know, I didn't believe it. And it fucked around, and it was true. So I'm sure, like, when you heard that Pac got shot, I'm sure you felt like, you know what, he's going to get through this because he's basically been through so much. <laughs> I didn't and he survived like so many things. I didn't feel like that, to tell you the truth. That's what they fucking said. That's what they said on the news. Like, the nigga, it, I mean, they said it, not me. If you were, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, I probably can remember better than anybody. But they said he was okay. Stable condition. Motherfucking, mm. you go to sleep and this nigga is fucking gone. Disappeared. And all this other shit. That, the, that moment. I mean, people, you would have thought that he was related to everyone. Yeah. When yep. you saw the tears, when you saw the emotion and everything, you would have thought he was related to everyone the way that it was. And um, I, I, I felt that and I would say that I was I was so touched. I was emotional myself. I love Tupac um, and rest in peace, Tupac. And I know that, you know, this this whole wow. music thing. He changed the game. And um, right now, I want to go into a, a caller right now that's been waiting for you so patiently. One of the first callers. Um, uh, 3537, you're live in the sandbox with Hussein Fatal. You have a question or a comment? Go ahead. Five is five. You already know, my man. What's good with it? We always really be fucking with you. You know, I follow who you on the grand heaven. You my man, man. We be banging that all Lord Chevy, man. But I wanted to ask you, you old slime on uh, Instagram, but I wanted to ask you, uh, do you think Yaki Gaddafi's uh, death was overlooked because Pac died? And yeah, it was. I mean, Pac, motherfucker, st- we don't know where the fuck Tupac at. Ain't nobody seen no fucking body of that nigga. And Gaddafi, Pac was cool, but don't get it fucked up. This is why everybody get it fucked up. Pac was cool, my man, all that, my man, but Gaddafi, man, that was motherfucking bruh, my nigga, and that shit definitely, 
it didn't get overlooked. It was just like, you know, it was like, damn, one of the outlaws died. You know, which is, you know, I guess it was what it was, but I definitely feel like it did. You know what I mean? And to this day, motherfuckers still ain't see this nigga pop dead yet. So niggas ain't even paying attention to what really, how that shit really affected. I don't know how it affected other niggas in the group, but me, that shit crushed me, bro. It's fucked. Shit uh, you, 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 that, that shit made you stop fucking with rap after that. Shit was done. Yeah, definitely. Like I was done with all rap, anything, hip hop. I ain't that shit was done to me. Like I ain't even want to do that shit because I felt like I lost my brother to some shit that we ain't even motherfucking sign up for. We was just out there when we in Gaddafi joint that shit. It was like my nigga, you know, we was just holding pop down. That's what it was. Fuck the rats. We was out there, you know, bulletproof vest. Niggas used to be talking about it. Like I thought I was gonna die first, nigga, because I was the cannon. I'm like. You know, I'm, I'm ready, like, when is it going down? When that shit happened in Vegas, I was so mad that I missed it. Like, I had a chance to die for this nigga, and now I gotta be out here doing interviews and shit on the phone and shit. Like, that shit ain't cool to me, my man. Yeah, 